Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, I have another um, story that I'm going to be sharing with you that is in keeping with the pattern that we see here in America constantly. Okay, um, these things that we share in many cases draw a direct link to how things were in the past. So there is a continuation. There is no break in the chain for this type of treatment. It's very important that we do this so that there is no uh, type of credence given to separating the past from the present, okay? It is what it is, y'all. There is definitely a connection with how so-called black people were treated in the past here in this country with today. And as I always state, this was prophesied in the Bible that in the lands of our captivity, uh, we would experience these types of things. This is why it's very important to know who is who in the Bible, okay? Um, it's not that we're trying to add any glory to it because we are, we're obviously here um, as a people because the Most High said that we would be here because of the disobedience of our forefathers and the continued disobedience of our people in general. Um, anyway, take a listen at this report um, as this police officer um, he pulls this black woman over for something very minor, okay? Very minor offense. Um, I believe it's a seatbelt offense and a cell phone offense. But um, as she's uh, opening up her wallet to give him the driver's license, as he is asking, he notices that she has a gun permit. He don't see a gun. He just see a permit and he loses it and points a gun at her head. So anyway, take a listen at this report, and of course, I will be right back. Body camera footage has been released documenting the stop of Minneapolis food delivery driver Jenny's Hodge that resulted in a $100,000 lawsuit settlement. Minneapolis Park Police Officer Calvin Pham's body cam footage shows the officer pulling his gun and shouting at Hodge one minute after stopping her for alleged seatbelt and cell phone violations. In the body camera footage, which led to a six-figure settlement late last year, it is not clear why Pham pulled his gun. The officer later wrote in his incident report that he believed Jenny's may have a gun after he noticed a permit to carry card in her wallet. But Pham never wrote in his report that he saw a gun, KSTPTV reports. Hodge said she does have a valid permit, but did not have a firearm with her. I didn't even have my driver's license out of the sleeve, and I had a gun pointed at my head," she said. You didn't see a firearm, you didn't ask if I had a firearm, you just reacted to something that you seen in my wallet. Hodge said she was scared, thinking of Philando Castile, who had a legal firearm on him when he was killed by then ST. Anthony Police Officer Geronimo Yanez in 2016. Yanez was acquitted. Philando's mother, Valerie Castile, described the video as absolutely terrifying. I know at that very moment, she thought about my son, she said. As a trained law enforcement officer, you're supposed to be trained in how to de-escalate the situation. And yet, we see these situations happen over and over and over again. Hodge worries about others in similar situations. You never know when it's your turn, she said. Okay, so this woman feared for her life because she saw where Philando Castile um, had a similar situation. Um, he had a permit to carry. He had a right. He did everything right. But an officer took his life when all he did was say, he said, officer, I, look, I have a weapon because re I'm required by law to tell you this is what Philando Castile did. But he still lost his life. And the system, the system said that the officer did nothing wrong. And so that says that an officer can see a black person with a permit to carry, a license to carry, or you can tell them that you have something and they don't see it, it's not in your hand, it's not a, an immediate threat to you. But this system says, look, an officer has a right to take your life. I want some of my white viewers to help us make sense of this, especially those who don't wanna draw a connection to things of the past. 
help us to make sense of this. Why does this system say that it's okay to take a black person's life for merely, merely having a visible license, not a physical gun. She said it wasn't even on her. It's just, just a little card that they issue, right? It's okay for an officer to take that life or um, point a gun, terrorize you, or in the case of Philando Castile, take your life and don't have to worry about anything happening to them. No punishment, no consequences, because that officer felt threatened when there was no threat? Help us to make sense of this. I already know the answer to this. I say it all the time on this channel. I, I love to draw a biblical connection because otherwise, without the biblical connection, none of this would make sense. None of this would make sense. It would just be just straight up what it is, just pure, unadulterated hatred. Of course, we know that, that those elements are there too, but this was prophesied. There's something that was prophesied, so it's something that is in people who act this way, okay? Notice I said the ones who act this way because not all do. When I get a chance, I'm gonna talk about the abolitionists. It's very important that we see both sides of this thing Okay, to my um, so-called black viewers and my so-called white viewers, it is very important that we understand what is going on from a spiritual standpoint. There are those that will bless you. There are those who will hate you. Scripture talks about that as well. It says, I will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you, you see. And so take a listen at this. It's like when you see what is happening here, it is very clear that some of these people have that thing that was prophesied that is burning in them. It's called a perpetual hatred. The Bible talks about that thing that's going to burn in them forever, right? And so this is why you can point a gun at a woman's head is, who is absolutely no threat to you, none whatsoever. I'm so glad in this case that uh, this woman still has her life. She didn't lose her life. But for someone, for this man with a weapon to feel so frightened so easily by this woman who merely had a cell phone violation and a seatbelt violation, you're that trigger happy to pull a gun out and point it at someone's head. That is the dangerous person. Now, some of you would say, well, he has a right to think she's a danger because of the color of her skin because that's the only reason why you would say it or think it. But no, he was the danger to her, but a person with Wetico would not see it that way. So make me understand, make this make sense. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Like I said, I believe it's because of what was prophesied in scripture. So this is why we have to understand how spirits work, how principalities work, demons and powers of darkness. We need to understand how all of this works and how in certain people, it performs a certain way. In other people, these powers of darkness performs a different way. This is why you'll have certain crimes that are more prevalent in the black community than it is in the white community. And you'll have certain crimes that are more prevalent in the white community than in the black community. Because there are certain principalities and dark powers working within each group. And all the other groups in between, Asians as well, people from this region or that region. We talked about how certain principalities reign over certain regions. And when I talk about principalities, y'all, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about dark powers, demonic powers, spiritual wickedness in high and low places. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm done with this video. I really didn't mean to go all, <laughs> all into it like that. But I'm trying to get folk on this channel to understand why these things like this that don't make sense continue to happen. It's like people are on an automatic adrenaline rush in whatever direction it is, whether I'm covering, covering um, a crime of a black man or a crime of a white man, crime of a black woman or crime of a white woman. Whatever it is, whatever the situation is, there are reasons why certain people are dealt with a certain way by demonic forces and powers. Anyway, in the comment section below, remember to keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.